Welcome to today's lecture. So on today's lesson, we are going to learn the Jacobi method. So remember the Jac Jacobi method is an iterative method for solving systems of linear equation. So we are going to illustrate the Jacobi method using this example here. So we say if you solve this system with this particular initial condition. So with the Jacobi method, if you want to use the Jacobi method to solve it, these are the steps we follow. So the first step is that we make S1 the subject in our first equation. Then we make S2 the subject in our second equation. And we make S3 the subject in the third equation. So after doing these manipulations, the next thing we do is that we start with our iterations. So Mostly, we are being told to do just the iteration. So, for the first iterations, the first iteration, we will use our initial condition to get a new set of what x's, which will be x1. So, after doing the first iteration, we are going to get a new set of x's. Then, in the second iteration, we will use this set of x's to get a new set of x's again. So, then in the third iteration, we will use the values for the second iteration to get our new set of values. So, if you are being told to do three iterations, then that means our values at the third iteration will be the approximate solution to the system of linear equation given. So for the system that we have above, when we use the Jacobi to solve it, the first thing we are supposed to do is to make S1 the subject in equation 1, S2 in equation 2, and S3 in equation 3. So let's do that. So in making X1 the subject in equation 1, we are going to get X1 to be equal to 1 over 3. Then... In making S2 the subject, we are going to get S2 to be equal to 1 over 6 multiplying 0 minus 3x1 then minus 2x3. Then in making S3 the subject in equation 3, you will end up with 1 over 7 times 4 minus 3x1. Then minus 3x2. So, this is the first thing we do. Then after that, we start with our iterations. So, we are doing three iterations in this case. So, with our first iteration, remember our initial condition is s of 0 equals 0, 0, 0. Remember, this is our x1, x2, and x3. So, with the first iteration, our x1 of 1. 1 here because you are doing the first iteration will be equal to 1 over 3 multiplying 1 plus x2 of 0 minus x3 of 0. Wondering how we got this equation. Remember, we made s1 a service in equation 1. And the new thing here is the one you can see here, the 0 you can see, and the 0. So this one means you are finding a new value for x1 using the initial condition given to us or the previous values for the x. So this is going to give you our x1 of 1 will be equal to 1 over 3, 1 plus, remember this is 0, this is also 0. So this gives us 1 over 3. Then in doing our finding the value for x2, so x2 we are going to get 1 over 6, then 0 minus 3x1 of 0, then minus 2x3 of 0. Remember, everything here is 0. So when we do the, we're going to get 0 minus 3 times 0, then minus 2 times 0. And it's going to give us 0. When you go to our x3 of 1, so we made x3 the subject in equation 3, don't forget. So we are going to get 1 over 7, then 4 minus 3x1 of 0, then minus 3x2 of 0. 
So remember, this place will be zero, this place will be zero. So you are going to end up with 4 over 7. So you realize that after doing the first iteration, our new set of values for our x, that's x1, is 1 over 7, sorry, 1 over 3. So it's 1 over 3, 0, and 4 over 7. So in doing the second iteration, we use the values for the first iteration to get our values in the second iteration. So let's just do the second iteration. So in doing the second iteration, we are going to get our x1 of 2. 2 here because it's the second iteration. We call to 1 over 3 multiplying 1 plus x2 of 1 then minus x3 of 1. So remember that this is 0 and this is negative 4 over 7. So that means when we do this computation, we end up with 1 over 7. So to get our x2 for the second iteration, this gives us 1 over 6, 0 minus 3x1, then minus 2x3 of 1. So, this gives us 1 over 6, we have 0 minus 3, but remember, the x value, x1 value, x value after the first iteration was um, 1 over 3, and that of x3 was negative 4 over 6, um, 7, yeah, so negative 4 over 7. So, Remember there is there is there is one here so one plus this so when you do this computation we end up with negative five over fourteen then find for our x three for the second iteration so this will be one over seven then four minus three x one of 1 and 3x2 of 1. So this is going to give us 1 over 7, then 4 minus 3. So our x1 of 1, remember it's 1 over 3, and that of our x2 is 0. So when you do this commutation, we end up with 3 over 7. So that means after the second iteration, these two here, our value for our x's are 1 over 7, negative 5 over 14 and 3 over 7. Then let's do the last iteration, that's the third iteration. So remember we use the values from the second iteration to get our values in the third iteration. So, you have our x1 for the third iteration, so of 3 will be equal to 1 over 3 multiplying 1 plus x2 of 2 minus x3 of 2. So this will give us 1 over 3, 1. But remember, this is minus 5 over 14, and this is minus 3 over 7. So when we do this computation, end up with 1 over 14 which is equal to 0 0.0714. When you find for our x2, we're going to get 1 over 6, 0 minus 3x2 of 1, then minus 2x3 of 2. And when you put in the values for x2 of 1 and x3 of 1, we end up with negative 3 over 14 which in terms of decimal is negative 0 0.2143 then to get our x3 for the third iteration 
we get 1 over 7 and 4 minus so this will be 3x1 for the second iteration and 3x2 for the second iteration as well and this gives us when you put in the value for x1 and x2 for the second iteration this one gives us 65 over 98 which is equal to 0 0.6633 so since the question asks us to do only three iterations that means our approximated remember we did iteration so when we get the answer it is an approximated solution so our approximated solution to the system of linear equation there is 0 0.0714 comma negative 0 0.2143 then comma 0 0.6633 so you can solve the system of linear equation we solve the using the right method you realize that you will get something which this solution is very close to so remember with iterations as you do more iterations then it gets very close to the exact solution so thank you this is a method of jacobi